Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen came to the Nintendo Switch at the perfect time for me. I've been really sick and there is nothing more satisfying than staying warm in bed and playing a nice meaty RPG. And man is this game meaty. As Alan Rickman in the movie Dogma put it, It never ends. It turns out the Dragon's Dogma is a brilliant way to pass the time when you're sick as a dog. Ma. It's always best to start at the beginning, and unfortunately for Dragon's Dogma, it isn't the best of beginnings. The little tutorial section at the very beginning is fine, and so is the actual start of the story with your freshly created character, but it's shortly after that where the game just failed to grab my attention. I had three or four false starts with this game, and by false starts I mean that I was ready to get settled in and play a lengthy stint, but after 30 minutes to an hour I just couldn't bring myself to play anymore. It wasn't until around 5 hours in when the game just suddenly clicked. I had just put a frozen pizza in the oven and booted up the game thinking that I'd probably want to tap out in 15 minutes anyway, so it'll work out with my pizza. What ended up happening was me completely forgetting about the pizza until 3 hours later when it was nothing but charcoal. Since then, I have dumped an ungodly amount of hours into this game. I played 14 hours just yesterday, mostly in handheld mode from what felt like my deathbed as the flu well and truly took over. The game's greater strength is also what I fear caused my less than stellar early experience. Dragon's Dogma is vast, there is a lot to take in, and you're given a lot of freedom on top of that. Information overload combined with almost total freedom mostly left me making terrible decisions, going places I wasn't ready for yet, and just not getting to where I needed to be in the first few hours. Once the game clicked though, I couldn't imagine it any other way. Now you may have gleaned from what I've said so far that this is my first time playing Dragon's Dogma. It had been on my radar before, but its previous releases just happened at a bad time for me and I never got around to it. So for those of you out there like me, Dragon's Dogma is a little bit like a lot of things. It's a little bit Shadow of the Colossus, it's a little bit Monster Hunter, a healthy dose of Skyrim, an injection of amazing action combat, and it's even a little bit of a platformer. It's not as big as Skyrim, but it absolutely trounces Skyrim on combat. I will stop comparisons with Skyrim now though, because truth be told, I hate Skyrim. I've given Skyrim so many chances and way more than the 5 or so hours I gave Dragon's Dogma to get good, and it just never did it for me. In fact, I think Dragon's Dogma does for me what Skyrim probably does for most other people. As for the other comparisons though, you can grab onto and climb big creatures like in Shadow of the Colossus, enemies have weak points and parts you can cut off or specifically damage like in Monster Hunter, and certain classes can give you abilities like a double jump that allow you to reach secret areas with well placed jumps like a platformer. The main draw though is undoubtedly the combat. There are three main classes, called vocations, that you can choose from at the start, Fighter, Mage and Strider. Then once you reach level 10, you can change your class to an advanced class of each archetype, like a Sorcerer, or a combination class, like a Mystic Knight. Each class does largely feel different to play, and you can change between them at any time assuming you have the resources. Part of each class can carry over even when you switch as well. You can learn unique augments to give bonuses like taking less damage, and those can be equipped no matter which class you are currently playing. Combat itself is obviously of the action variety. You have main and secondary weapons, light and heavy attacks, and skills unique to your class that will drain your stamina, so it's essential you get into a good flow and mix in plenty of standard attacks to allow your stamina to rebuild. As I mentioned earlier, you can also climb on top of enemies if they are big, or pick them up and throw them if they are small, and generally you'll be aiming for weak points. Shooting a cyclops in the eye can stun it for a short time, and in the case of golems you pretty much can only do damage by hitting their glowing runes. Who's that waifu? It's Mila Maxwell! Moving on from combat to what you actually do that leads to the combat, which is of course, quests. There are a whole lot of quests in Dragon's Dogma. There is the main story and optional side quests, and there are also much simpler tasks that give various rewards and experience for say, killing 45 rabbits. 
Both main and side quests aren't your average go here, do that kind of thing. They are by and large really interesting. There are usually multiple ways you can complete a quest, and not only that, there are different outcomes that affect the world in different ways. There are even some quests that you can fail the objective of, but still count as a completed quest. For example, you could be charged with reclaiming a stronghold from goblins. If you succeed, the stronghold becomes a friendly outpost. If you fail, the stronghold stays under goblin rule. One of the really interesting quests was having to find evidence for the upcoming trial of a rich merchant. You could choose to only hand in evidence that supported either his innocence or guilt. You could even pay somebody to create fake affidavits either in support or to condemn. If he is found guilty, he's sent to prison for the remainder of the game and that opens up a different questline. If he is found innocent, he will sell to you at a massive discount. Honestly, I could go on talking about Dragon's Dogma for another hour or so, but I like to keep my videos relatively short and punchy, so I'm going to rush through a few things here. The main story itself is just okay. There are times when it gets compelling, and other times it just falls flat. The main story isn't really what got me invested in the game though, everything else it offers did that. One annoyance is inventory management. You have a weight limit. I'm sure you've seen it all before. But thankfully in Dragon's Dogma, everything you pick up does serve a purpose. You can combine items to create new ones, and you also have a very generous storage facility which can be accessed at any innkeeper. Pawns are something I haven't really talked about so far, but they play an integral part in the game. You create your own main pawn at the beginning, which stays with you throughout the game, and you can also recruit up to two other pawns to join your party. Pawns act independently, but you can give them some limited directions. The pawns you can recruit are pawns created by other characters, and they do more than just help you in battle and pick up items. Depending on what quests the other player's pawns have completed or areas they've been to, they can offer tips and advice on said quests and areas if you haven't yet encountered them. And finally, I wanted to talk specifically about the performance of this Nintendo Switch port. Having not played the others, I can't directly compare what it looks like to the other versions, but I can say that the port itself runs really great. There were some server issues for a day or so, which made getting and updating new pawns difficult, but that seems to have been sorted out. The frame rate is very smooth, save for a few isolated instances where I encountered some slowdown, but they were truly few and far between. Obviously the game does look distinctly 2012 because that's when it was first launched, but the environments are actually quite nice. The port is great, and I think Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen is tremendous value on the Switch for its low asking price. It's a massive game with tons of replay value, an amazing combat system, and a whole lot of addictive content to keep you playing for hours on end. Thanks for the liking, subscribing, and the sharing! And I'll see you all soon.